So not that long ago, recent, recently I bought the Sony A6000, and uh, I, I like it. I bought it more as a smaller carry-on camera, has a, better auto, has a much better autofocus on the A7R, locks on, um, 24 megapixels, APS-C, actually would have, I would have liked that this camera was actually a lower megapixel camera, um, to give a little higher, higher ISO performance. Struggles a little bit higher, but um, so far I like this camera, it's really nice. And so back when I primarily shot Canon, one of the things I used to think was really peculiar was it seemed like DxO Mark really, really liked Sony. For some reason, it seemed to uh, it seemed to grade them very well. I guess a little bit too well, in my opinion. Um, so recently, I decided well, I decided to check out how the A6000 on DxO uh, stacks up against my full frame 5D Mark III, and on on the site it says that they're both the same and i'll tell you what i am honestly somewhat of a full frame snob i think full frame just looks better you the sensor is over is double the size it's over double the size how is that not a big benefit i mean top pros shoot uh mid format for a reason bigger sensor better image that's my always assumption but you know, I'm not always right, but that's my assumption. So I kind of want to be proven wrong a little bit. So um, I'm gonna. So right here, I have the A6000 with the Zeiss 55 1.8, and so that lens um, on a crop with a 1.5 comes out to 82.5, which is extremely close to the 5D3 here with the EF um, 85 1.8. So both lenses are 1.8 both about the same focal length. I'm very interested to see if, if there's a noticeable difference. So I'm gonna shoot both of them. I'll upload full resolution JPEGs to Flickr and see if you can tell me a difference between the two. Um, I honestly, my assumption is it's gonna be pretty obvious, but I'm not sure. So we'll see. I know there's a, that, uh, that Zacharias video where he's like, the difference is negligible. If the difference was actually negligible, why do, why do so many people shoot full frame? Because it looks, in my opinion, it just looks better. Um, for sure, at higher ISO, this is going to struggle. This is going to have a much easier time. But I, I have a hard time believing the difference between the two um, is is negligible. If not, actually, DxO says the A6000 actually has better image quality than the 5D3. And I'm very skeptical. Um, let me know, I guess give me some suggestions on environments I should, sh I should shoot it in. I'm probably going to be shooting uh, a portrait, uh, wide open, take a look at the bokeh, um, a, a portrait at f8, uh, a landscape, and probably one, or, one at higher ISO, like 6400. And we'll see, the, we'll see the difference. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll be proven wrong. I'm very intrigued to see if there's much of a difference at all. Um, but we'll see. So, all right. Thanks guys.